service in California available for another tour in Iraq. Randy Kay's report airs tomorrow on 360. As the host of America's Most Wanted, John Walsh has helped put hundreds of killers and fugitives behind bars. But his family is still waiting for justice. In 1981, you'll remember his six year old son Adam was abducted and murdered in Florida. To this day, the crime remains unsolved. However, you're about to hear a stunning new report that may possibly connect the case to a man who was the very face of evil, Jeffrey Dahmer, the serial killer and cannibal. Tonight, witnesses are coming forward and evidence is being laid out that may, just may, put Dahmer at the same location where Walsh disappeared. We begin with reporter Patrick Frazier from our Miami affiliate, WSVN. In July 1981, a little boy was kidnapped from the Hollywood Mall. As South Florida searched for him, his family begged for him. He's our only child, He's a beautiful little boy, and we just want him back more than anything. But John Walsh never got Adam back. Six weeks later, Adam's head was found in a canal near the Florida Turnpike. His body was never found. Two years later, a miserable drifter named Otis Toole twice confessed to killing Adam and twice bragged he made it up. That Adam Walsh case isn't, uh, it ain't true. What isn't true? I didn't, I didn't do that case. Tool was never charged in Adam's murder, and for 26 years, the search has gone on for answers. I just spent a lot of time going through and seeing, looking for mistakes, looking for clues. Crime reporter Art Harris has spent several years digging into the Adam Walsh case, and now has come to a conclusion. Your conclusion, who killed Adam Walsh? I believe Adam Walsh's killer is Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer, one of the most infamous serial killers in American history, who admitted to murdering, beheading, and eating many of his 17 victims. But all Dahmer's victims were in Ohio or Wisconsin, or were they? You see, in 1981, Jeffrey Dahmer was living right here on Miami Beach off 174th Street, 20 minutes from the mall where Adam was kidnapped. In fact, Dahmer may have been at the mall at the exact moment Adam was grabbed. What have you done that proves Jeffrey Dahmer could have been the killer? It starts with the two witnesses at the Hollywood Mall. He looked at me, and when I didn't answer him, he got this crazed look on his face. One of those witnesses who says he saw Dahmer is Willis Morgan. He has never spoken on camera before about the person who confronted him as he stood in the Hollywood Mall the day Adam was kidnapped. And then he came into the radio shack, and he came right up to me about arm's length. I could have reached out and touched him. And he repeated really loud, like he was standing 15 feet away or even more. Hi there, nice day, isn't it? When Willis ignored the man, he walked away. Willis was suspicious and followed him. I followed him right to the toy department. I saw him walking into the toy department. The toy department at Sears was where Adam's mother had left him to play. Willis went to the Hollywood police to report his encounter, but they never interviewed him. And Willis didn't realize who he had seen for 10 years till he saw a newspaper story about a serial killer being captured. I was freaking out. I could hardly function. I, I couldn't work the rest of the night. The face from that paper was Jeffrey Dahmer, the guy who confronted Willis, the guy he followed into the toy department. Because I knew this was the guy. That's the guy you saw at the night. Oh, yes, absolutely. That day, around noon, a little after. Bill Bowen was walking into Sears about the same time Willis saw Dahmer go in there. Bowen, who was also never spoken on camera, saw a man and a little boy struggling. The little boy was saying, I don't want to go, I'm not going. And he proceeded to take the little boy and literally throw him by one arm into a blue van, and then he sped off. Bill assumed it was a man and his younger brother. But like Willis, he reported what he saw that day to Hollywood police. However, nothing came of it till 10 years later, when like Willis, he saw a man's face in the newspaper. That Sunday in 1991, when the picture of Dahmer came out, it hit me like a baseball bat. Two witnesses who believe they saw Jeffrey Dahmer at the mall the day Adam was kidnapped. And there's another link to Dahmer. The kidnapper left in a blue van. Dahmer worked at a sub shop where they made deliveries. Harris's research revealed a startling fact about one of the delivery vans. I learned that there's that one of the delivery vehicles where Jeffrey Dahmer worked was a blue van. When Bill and Willis saw Dahmer's picture in 1991, they contacted Hollywood police. A detective went to Wisconsin and interviewed Jeffrey Dahmer, who denied killing Adam Walsh. Detectives believed him then and now. I'm convinced he didn't do it. Captain Mark Smith has reviewed every document in the Adam Walsh investigation and is not swayed by the two witnesses who told us they saw Dahmer that day. There are people that saw, say they saw Jeffrey Dahmer. There's more people that say they saw Honest Tool. But former FBI agent Neil Pertel, who interviewed Jeffrey Dahmer about the Adam Walsh case, 
has a different conclusion. I said, uh, Jeffrey, tell me the truth. He, he looked away and said, honest to God, Neil, I didn't do Adam. Bertel said his years of experience told him Dahmer was lying about murdering Adam Walsh. In interviewing him, I believe he's more than a possible suspect. He, he, he's much higher than that. He's probably responsible, in my mind. John Walsh, Adam's father, thinks Otis Tool is probably his son's killer. But he adds he now wants the investigators to go talk to the two witnesses who think they saw Dahmer at the mall that day. I think the ball is back in Michael Satt's court, the, the Broward County Prosecutor's court, to thoroughly look at this case. Uh, even though it's a cold case, people have come forward who are claiming one thing, who are saying we weren't taken seriously back 25, 26 years ago. So I think that they have to look at this case. Who murdered Adam Walsh, the sickening Otis Tool, the cannibal Jeffrey Dahmer, or someone else who's still out there? I d don't have a good answer for you. Will this case ever be solved? I'd like to think so. Of course, there are two witnesses who will never forget what they saw the day Adam disappeared. What looked like a very angry young man holding a boy up in the air violently and throwing him into that van and, and speeding off. I'm more than convinced. Oh, Jeffrey Dahmer, definitely. But even if Willis is right, it's too late for a conviction. Jeffrey Dahmer was murdered in prison. It can be resolved, and it can be solved too, but there won't ever be a trial because he's dead. 26 years ago, a wonderful little boy disappeared. 26 years later, all we keep discovering are more questions. Did Dahmer do it?